Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It has been a very long time. I feel like I say that in all of my videos. <laughs> I just don't film as often as I used to and I think about it all the time, but I don't ever feel like what I'm doing in my planning is profound enough to film about, but some of my favorite people literally just get on screen and talk about what is on their mind, what's bothering them, and kind of problem solve just on camera. So I'm going to give you guys this video um, kind of a review of the hot pen and gear spiral notebook and some other things that I've been using to kind of fill the same need, I guess. So let's jump right in. Um, if you want to see the actual review of the pen and gear notebook, um, jump ahead to when I just have one notebook on the screen. First though, I'm going to explain um, the journey a little bit here. So I am a big fan of Michelle from Seaweed Kisses. Um, I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I don't mean to. Um, hopefully I don't make you motion sick. So anyway, Seaweed Kisses. She is all about using, using like, you know, lower quality things and just using what you have. And I avoid Walmart like the plague, but apparently I should have, <laughs> I should have been going through their stationery section because um, they have a brand there called Pen and Gear, and so far, um, the few different things I've bought from them, I've been really impressed. So, um, I wanted one of those notebooks, but they were not in stock. So, this is the Pen and Gear, um, the, the spiral bound that Seaweed Kisses made popular. Couldn't find it, they were sold out. Um, so I ended up grabbing these um which they're still pen and gear they're smaller than passport size um let me see this right here is passport size and this is a little bit smaller um both in height and width but you could put it in a passport size tan if you really wanted to it wouldn't be horrible. Um, so pen and gear brand, mini composition books. I had gotten in person when I went, I chose this set of three because I really loved this kind of lilac purple. And I also like the blue. This is like a salmon color, which I really don't like, but I will end up covering up. That won't be hard. Um, so these, I believe, are only a dollar, a dollar per bundle, or not much more than that. Um, very, very, very cheap. And this set has black, more of a royal blue, and red. So I had also put in an online order for some more of these, and I was given all the black, blue, and red sets. But I definitely have enough to get me through a year. These are awesome. They have um, 80 sheets each, so 160 pages. And this I was literally putting in my pocket. So I was using my standard size uh, Stalogy notebook, which I've used for a few years now. And um, I was just writing my lists for the day in here. So like, just write it down. So, you know, Walmart run, buy water, tidy the great room, clean the kitchen, and then a to-do list for my husband. Nothing special. And I was literally putting it in my pocket. Um, when I threw it in my bag, I would put this binder clip on it so the pages didn't get too messed up. And this is a... Hmm, Coveco Sport, Coveco Sport. Um, it's a little mini ballpoint pen. Um, I would clip that like that. 
and go about my business. When I would go to work, I would put this in my pocket with no clip and just slip the pen in on top or on the bottom. So this, this works really well. It does. Um, it's a little small. I wish it was like an actual passport size, but it's great for my pocket. It like my actual physical pocket in my pants. Granted, a lot of my pants don't have pockets. That is a common woman problem, <laughs> but um, it's very handy to be able to do that. But I really wanted to try the actual pen and gear notebook. So I found them at a different Walmart nearby and bought... I think I originally bought like two and then I ended up going back and buying enough for a whole year. So I have 12. I could use one a month, which would be more than enough. Um, so they come like this, 80 sheets, 160 pages. It's four by six. So it's about an A6 size. Um, and I started using this instead. Now, the reason that I absolutely love um, this spiral bound is because I can do this. I can focus on one page, one day, whatever's it, just, there it is. It's not, it doesn't have to be this all the time. So yeah, it saves room on my desk, but even then it's just, it's, there it is. I mean, that was Thursday. I really like being able to do that. So, um, those are definite pros. This one I would, when I had it on my desk, I would, um, like open it up and, um, I'd use the clip like that. So, let me move this. So I would like throw it right there and it would still have my list. So it, this bends back really nicely on itself. Um, and even like later in the notebook, it'll still do that. So that it works. It takes a little, like you have to have your clip with you. You can't lose your clip. Um, it takes a little more effort, but that it does work. So I'm kind of weighing the pros and cons between the two, but I really liked the spiral bound and I got thinking, what if I could find something similar that's affordable, but has a better coil? Because as you can see here, this is a single coil. It's nothing, it's nothing special. It's, you know, you can beat it up in your bag. The cover can wear over time and start to come off. Your pages can tear out. So, so I went on Amazon and I found these. Now, um, here's what they actually look like. These, uh, and of course, I don't remember who made them, what shop it was. If you really want to know, send me a message and I'll look it up. Um, but these are pocket size. So they're like in between the two pen and gear sizes. I really didn't like the craft covers, so I painted it black. There's some decals on there. Um, and this, this works just fine. Um, it's he much heavier paper. It feels nice to write on. Um, and it's about the color of moleskin paper. Maybe a little less yellow pretty comparable. This is a plain moleskin. So the, the color of the paper got to me and the pages don't crinkle, which, <laughs> which is kind of a petty thing, but that it's, it's a thing. Like I just, I didn't enjoy using it as much, but this came in a five pack. It was like 12, 15 bucks and they're very su like substantial feeling. Um, like they feel like a good value. I might use them one day, but right now that's not really a contender. <clears throat> so that brings us to where we are currently. Um, I have been using this um, spiral bound 
predominantly. Um, I stopped using my Hobonichi Weeks. I stopped using my Stalogy. This has enough room in it. Um, you know, I drew out some calendars. I put in a weekly and I've just been using this and it's been great. I just, I am a little paranoid about the coil. Um, so I'm trying to resolve that mentally. And then this, uh, I stopped using for like a week or two. And then last night I went through and I caught it up um, because I wanted to, like I wanted to put a weekly in and I did it a little differently to give myself more room here. Um, and just like, see how I felt about it? Because this, th this tiny one is more convenient for carrying around. But this one's still pretty convenient. Like, it's pretty small. It's pretty slim. It's infinitely easier to carry around than any of my other planners. So, and now I have a year supply of both of these. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I might, I might, like, use this as the planner and, like, leave it out on my desk. And then just put my to-do list in this little guy and keep it in my pocket. And then if I have like journaling that I want to do, it'll go in here because this stays like on my person. Nobody's going to be able to go through it. I might do something like that. I really don't know. And I don't mind keeping them both going until I figure it out. Um, so yeah, that is what I've been up to. And it is working. Um, and I do... I do like the paper in these a lot. I did try, I think it was in this one, or maybe, it seems to be the exact same paper. Just because it's the same brand, that doesn't always necessarily mean it's the same. Oops. Um, yeah, so I did, um, I did use my stub nib Twisby. And I don't, it's got some sort of pilot ink in it. And there was no bleed through. I can't show you the other side of the page because it has a password on it. Um, but yeah, it really is fountain pen friendly. It's nice and crinkly. It's thin. It's white. Um, the lines are a little bit bold, but it's whatever. That's fine. So I'm probably going to keep these two going and just figure it out. Now, on to the actual review. So this is what the pen and gear looks like when you first get it. I like to cover all of that up. God knows I've got enough stickers around. So I jazzed it up and covered up all of that. Um, I haven't found them um, in person or online in any color other than black, which for me is just fine. I love black, but that is something to keep in mind. If you're a colorful person, you're going to have to decorate it on your own. Um, because I don't think it comes in anything other than black. It is four inches wide by six inches tall. It's got 80 sheets, so 160 pages, which is a lot. Um, that's almost as much as a half year Stalogy. And um, yeah, I like that it doesn't have that like red line here where actually, let me grab it. Ugh. Okay, so there's also these. I was holding out on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I went crazy because they're all so cheap. Like they're so stinking cheap. So they also have these that are three by five. And I don't like top flippers <laughs> for spirals, but it's fine for like keeping on the desk for a grocery list. I gave these to my husband. Um, I also gave this to my husband. I think it I think it was a two-pack. I have one in black around here somewhere. This is probably B6 size. Yeah. It looks about B6 size. And it's got like a plastic cover. But it's got this red line here, which I really do not like. And all the pages are perforated. No, thank you. But this is also pen and gear. Could be really useful for certain people and certain purposes. Just not for me. So these are my husband's. <clears throat> Okay, so there's no red line here. It is not perforated, which is perfect because I'm already worried about the pages falling out. 
without them being designed to do that. Um, there, there's nothing. There's nothing else in here. This is just a regular notebook. It is 97 cents. <laughs> now, does this feel like something special? I know it is all the rage right now. Michelle has made it very pop popular. Rightfully so, it's a great deal. And it's a great option. Loving it. Does it feel special? No, it doesn't. It, it feels... Maybe it doesn't feel like 97 cents. Maybe it feels like two or three dollars. But it does it doesn't. It doesn't feel special. Um, you have to make it special. And it can become very special. I love mine. Even though mine was less than a dollar, I've been writing in it. It's full of stuff. I would be super upset if I lost that. But the fact that it's so affordable, I I can rip pages out of it because it's a spiral and I don't feel bad. I can I don't use white out in it. I just scribble things out. Um, it's a, it's a weight taken off of my shoulders when I'm writing in these. Um, so yeah, you're not feeling like this luxury experience by any means. Um, it's special because you make it special. That being said, I think they're great. Um, I could see me keeping these around as long as they make them. I've always used something similar but thicker for work um, on my desk. I usually get them at the Dollar Tree. I think they're the Jot brand. I don't have any at home. They feel, the paper feels recycled. It's like that, I don't know, it like feels soft in a weird way. Like a cross between like copy paper and Kleenex. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Uh, you, maybe you know what I mean. Um, this paper does not feel like that. This feels like nice and smooth. It's crisp. It's got the, the crinkle potential is very nice on this. And then, you know, of course, if you watercolor in it or anything like that, it gets super crinkly. Um, I really, I like crinkly pages. I just do. I think it's nice. Um, so... I think it's worth it. It's definitely something to try if you're in a slump. It's definitely worth the 97 cents for sure. I would not race all over your area from Walmart to Walmart to Walmart. That's a lot. That is traumatic to do that to yourself. I would just go online <laughs> and um, have them like sent to your local store. But um, yeah, I think I think they're really good. And like I said, it takes a lot of the pressure off. I also think that these guys are really good. And for being like in and out of my pocket and having a pen clipped on it and being constantly like folded back on themselves, these are holding up really well. So, um, I think, and like I said, I, oh, I wish I checked before I started this video. I really think this little three pack is like a dollar too. Um, cause I remember telling myself that it was like, pretty much the same price. Very, very inexpensive. And you get just as many pages in this as you do in the bigger one. They're just a little smaller and they're um, not spiral. So both of these notebooks I think are wonderful. I highly recommend them. And I, <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well uh, at the holiday time. Um, and I hope that you're not too stressed out about your planners and your journals and all of that. Um, don't be afraid to go for something cheap, something completely different, because it can be really fun. Even if it's only temporary, you know, live in the moment and try new things and take some of the pressure off of yourselves because it's supposed to be fun, right? So thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry it's been so long. And I hope to really commit to a system it, even if it's just temporary and come on and give you guys an update. But right now I'm on break. I'm off for like another week and a half and I'm just going to have fun with all of the things. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.